there, this is PK10, and welcome to our first impressions on the Roblox Studio 2.0 public beta. Now, this is the original blog post which said it was nearing public beta testing. It is out now. There's a forum post in the Scriptors forum or some other forum. I can't remember what it was. I'll give a link to you in the description so you can download it as well. But I have it installed. So basically, the blog post says it's going to have a new script editor, model editor, and it's going to be easier and more convenient to use. So I'm going to go ahead and open it now. As you see, they've decided to change the logo, which... I don't know why, I think the old logo was fine, maybe it's just to signify it's a new studio, probably that's the case. So, when we open it, it comes out on the original, the the same homepage as before. It comes out with game tests, probably because it's this, I'm just going to go back onto roblox.com, because I can actually log in there. And, you see, it, it's going to, the homepage is probably going to be the games page or the My Robux page like they have before. Now I'm really not too sure why they're going to stick with this. Because Roblox Studio is a development tool, you don't use it to browse the website and play games, you use it to create your games. So you don't want to open on the games page or in My Robux page. What, what, what should happen, like in most code editors such as Visual Studio, NetBeans, Eclipse, it should have some sort of quick start set a window. So rather than having a one web page, you could have an actual window here that says, for example, has templates. It says, what do you want to do? You want to create this place, a brick battle, what is it, personal server, uh, or you can have more templates. You, you could even like FPS place where they use their, your, new, your new plugin. How have I changed? Okay, my new mouse is playing up, but for example, you just click here and it will create the template, click here, template, template, and when you click there, it would automatically create the place and save it to your computer, rather than at the moment if I wanted to create a place, I'd have to go into places, press create place, then do this, then, then select the thing here, press create, and then click edit, and then I have to save it to my computer afterwards. It should have something that does that automatically, and you can always choose all the different ones. And then it should have different so it says, what do you want to do? Do you want to create a place? And then you would be able to select all of these places. Do you want to create a personal server? Have lots of different templates for personal servers. Then do you want to create, just, do you want to create a model? Do you want to have a, a rather than having to open in a template like a terrain template or a brick battle template, do you want to create a model? And then it wouldn't automatically publish the place to your places. You'd It would publish it wouldn't publish anything, it would just save it to your computer and open a blank one and then obviously you'd still have, you, that wouldn't replace anything you could still have these tools if you just wanted to do it normally which is what most of the advanced older users would have but it would be much more user friendly and as to making things more convenient for new users and then that seems like the ideal update so I'm now gonna go ahead and press new now I'm gonna deselect all of these because this is probably what it's gonna start out as if you do Actually, I'm not sure because I haven't used this before, so except just like two minutes ago for about 30 seconds. So you can all of these new windows, whereas before you had to click view, you can still do this view toolbox, view basic objects, but rather than before to um, do any of this stuff, you'd have to do, go through the window, but now you can just literally toggle output on and off by clicking here. This is much more convenient and easy to use. Toggle properties on and off, explorers on and off, and instead of having a separate button for the toolbox, you can just click toolbox there, which will automatically have all these test sets, or, well, that just for the test, presumably, and all the basic building. And also what's really new, is whereas before, as you probably would have seen if you watched any of my rated videos or used through videos before, you'd have to use insert object to get any sort of other part in that isn't in these sets. But no and it would come up in the window in the middle of the screen, just like this. And then you'd have to click on you click on an object, press OK, and then it would take a while inserting the object while it tabbed back into this studio and then you'd get the object in here. Whereas now it's just much, much quicker, easier to use where you just click plus here. It was default to here. And then you can just literally click there and you can just constantly insert the parts. Well, I can't insert the terrain obviously, but I can just insert all of these. So I wonder if they've changed the sounds. Nope, they haven't changed the sounds for deleting. So I'm just going to close this down. So this is really useful, and so is this 
and you can have all the other diagnostic tools that people don't normally use in here anyway. So we're just going to go through all of these and see if they've changed any of them. So pan left, these are just the same old camera tools presumably. That zoom in, zoom out, look at object and zoom extents. Now, I don't know why they've want, they decided to change all of the icons to just grey. It seems like a much better idea to have them, like I've got my nice the, the group spawn AI plugin and the analyzers serialize subject selection button but I don't know why they've decided to change all these. If I if I were looking for go okay where's the resize button and I'm used to it being blue even if the previous UI wasn't there if I just been if I just want to get you rather than having to learn the position I'd really just want this to be color so this okay I'm going to look for a blue button there it is or I'm going to look for an orange button there it is rather than having it all grey especially this play pour through wide why have they changed the colors of these does it look better I don't know. I I don't. I wouldn't say it would. But maybe it's more minimalistic to just have the same colour. I don't know. I'm not very artistic. But I don't really like that. Now another thing they haven't changed is that manual joints is defaulted to on. I really hate that. Hang on. Excuse me. <coughs> uh, yes, I have got a bit of a cold. So I'm going to see if they've actually stuck with this whereas in the previous studio it didn't make a diff it, it's a lot of the time it broke and didn't work I'm just gonna go insert object and have it appear here or I could do just click on this button so I'm gonna select parts now if I just build do, 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 do. I've put two parts together now on this part it automatically comes part to part strong joint I really really hate that it, for, it, it makes the place more laggy. It doesn't... For a new user, okay, if you didn't know what you were doing, then fine. Maybe maybe you would want... If you put two parts together, maybe maybe you would want these two parts to stick together. That might, that might be... Okay, you might want to. But how many people... When you put two parts together, do you, do you automatically want them to stick together forever? Or do you want... Because look, if you look in here... And it also has a weld, part to part strong joint. If I press play on the place, they won't fall apart. They'll just stick together. Now, if I was making, would you would would do you think this is useful? Do you think that whenever you this was on the previous shooter as well, but it seemed to be broken to me for me, so I didn't really notice it. But I don't know why they haven't decided to change it. I mean, do you, whenever you put two parts together, automatically assume that they're going to stick together? Do you want them to stick together? I don't. I want them to be able to fall apart, and if I want them to stay. To if I want them to stay where they are, I'll anchor them, if I want them to stick together, I use the surface welds. The surface welds, and no, there's, no, there's no problem with these surface welds, I don't know why you don't really use them, you can just use press that and have exactly the same effect without having... I really think it's much more inconvenient than... In, it, there are situations where it's useful, for example, if a so, new user was just going on and going, okay, why aren't the parts sticking together? Oh no, they're not sticking together. But I really think there's going to be more situations where someone goes, oh no, why aren't the parts sticking together? Why why, why are the parts sticking together? Why are the parts sticking together? And they realise it's because they've accidentally left manual joints on. And so... Or manual joints on. And so they have to click and delete every single one of those to get them away. And if they don't know scripting from the command bar, if they can't just delete them all just by typing a few lines of script, and then it's going to take a while if you've just made a big place. So that can be incredibly frustrating, the number of times I've left it on. Well, manual joints. So if I leave that, manual joints are on or off. I'm not. That's on. So I'm just going to definitely turn that off. Now, hopefully it actually works. I was on a previous studio, it didn't often change anything, it just automatically assume the same thing as before for whatever reason. It seemed to be broken for me. I'm not sure if that was everyone or just me, because they didn't seem to the admins didn't notice it. Yep, okay, it's definitely working. So if I leave that off and then it won't automatically. So you still want the grid size, you can change the grid size. If I oop, I just deleted a part. I can I can change this and this this doesn't this seems to be the same grid length as this is this actually free 
Yes, I'd have to stream it. It's okay. So now I'm going to move on to. I don't think any of the tools have changed just yet. Anchor. And it keeps automatic. I'm not sure if this is my mouse or this Roblox. I think it's my mouse that's doing that, not Roblox. Um, the paint is. This is. I'm just going to go through and test all of these. Pick color. It's going to be the same. All these surface worlds, glue, world, connectors, indents, universals, hinge, motor, creative river, there's all these, the Roblox plugins, um, terrain generator builder, remover, elevation adjuster, terrain, blah 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 blah, terminate, then there's my plugins, and the plugins I've installed, so, I'm going to, oops, I'm not going to change all of them, so, that's pretty much everything immediate. Now, obviously, they said they were going to make a new script editor. Now, I haven't che checked this, so let's see if a script editor is it. Well, it looks similar to the last one. It's not exactly the same. So I'm going to just see if it's or is it, is it going to auto tab? It doesn't auto tab. The the look of it has changed slightly. Ish. Let's just do this. It hasn't. It's not auto tabbing anything. It doesn't auto complete. It doesn't auto complete stuff. It does. It does now highlight math dot random when it didn't used to. So math is now highlighted. What other? Yep. Yeah. So it's now gonna. It's now highlights those things. So all of these new. The the inbuilt Lua or Roblox actually I'm not sure not Roblox so that not Roblox functions no all the inbuilt Lua ones are now highlighted the same as keywords are highlighted whereas before it didn't used to happen so that's a nice little feature but I did read a post by Sorka saying they were trying to make the script editor more like Sublime now, I haven't actually used Sublime but I'm assuming that means it's going to have auto tabbing and completion of words, because that's what most of the Roblox admins use. I don't use it, because I find that I can... I don't know, I just can't be bothered to copy and paste the script back into Roblox. I always do this, because I don't usually script much on at a time on Roblox to warrant having a, a, an external editor. So, oh, I just hit my mouse and it did that again. And now I'm going to just look see if the menu's changed. So this view now has all of this diagnostic stuff. I'm not sure what I had it before. You can change it to full screen from there. Hopefully the undo will be better. Let's just see if I can break the undo. Because undo on the last one was... It seems to be laggy now. I it's I don't know why. Maybe it's just my screen recorder because my computer can definitely handle this. Excuse me. Right, so it seems to be slowing down considerably. Now I'm going to just use this. Maybe it's my screen recorder. I'm hoping it is. Oh, I haven't changed this back to. So I'm going to. I have got manual joints off. Okay, so let's see if I can. So if I say accidentally move this off, if I press undo, that will go back. It's they fixed it a lot on the previous studio as well. It still sometimes breaks, and you sometimes have to miss things out. But most of the time, this works. So I'm, it's not going to be very easy to break now. And I'm sure I'm not sure if they would have improved since last time. Seeing as I'm not sure if they know that last the previous one it was broken slightly, but. I can't remember, I haven't used it in a while, I can't remember the exact situations where it didn't work properly, but it definitely didn't work properly sometimes. Now, we've got some these new plugins, we've got insert model object service, clear tools and start black like clear tools in my backpack. It's a strange thing to add because I don't know why they've decided to add some random button, because you could have just gone to start pack and deleted everything. It's I don't know. I don't know why they decided to do that. Clear tools and start effect unless I have no idea why the fight. That just seems like a bit bit random. You can just start pack in my backpack. My backpack? What? That's a, that's when you're actually testing. So presumably these are are these features for when you're actually. I'm not sure what they were designed for. Are these features for test for um, clearing tools 
when you're when you're actually testing, when you're pressing tools and test solo, and you're actually testing. So now I can format, rotate, tilt, camera positioning. Oh, I can change the camera positioning. This is useful. That is very useful. So you'd be able to change the camera positioning to watching, attached, tracking, and following. Now, have you used this for set model front? Now we have got some additional features with this that I didn't notice before. So let's go and get a part out. So what happens when I'm if I change the camera now? So camera positioning is fixed on the part. Well, I can, it's fixed, but I can use arrow keys. Format camera positioning watching. So now, if I automatic, if I do that, presumably it's gone back to fixed now. But I can do this, and the camera is following the part now. If I change it, so I can now change. It. You could already do that by just getting in here. I'm not sure if you could do it the pre. Actually, I don't know if you could um, change the camera type within studio very easily before. I know you could do it f I know you should have been able to do it from in the workspace but I haven't actually tried that before so I'm not sure but you could definitely do it much you can do it from here now so I'll show you all the different camera types so attached is as you can see the part is moving so the camera follows it exactly the part is moving as you can see from the properties window down here the part is moving backwards and forwards so that the camera is staying exactly with it, it's not moving at all. So that's what attached is. Going to tracking, did we just do tracking? It's basically the same. Actually, I can't remember the difference between them, but we're going, going to following. This is similar, but as you can see, it. if I go switch around, it does as you can see here, when you, when I turn it, the camera follows behind it rather than exactly fixes with it. So if I move it down here, as you can see, I'm moving up there and it's following behind it. I move it back down here and it follows behind it this way. Move it upwards and the camera will... I should know because the camera can't go upwards or downwards very easily. Whoops. Hmm. I clicked something which had nothing to do with that. I clicked rotate, but... When you move these, instead of having the normal window at the there was a window in the middle of the screen, well not a window, an overlay in the middle of the screen, which would, when you selected this, would tell you, so if you put it, dragged it here, it would appear up there. If you dragged it here, it would appear over here. If you dragged it here, it would appear down here. So now you can just move it where you want. This could, this, yeah, I suppose this is easier, except this one. This one is just, what the hell? Why is it, why does it default to being that? Surely if you moved it up here, you'd want it to be smaller and then fatter. Why would it default? That's... Ah, Roblox haven't thought that through at all. They really shouldn't have that. They should need to... There needs to be a way of extending it this way, this toolbox. They need to improve this toolbox, actually. They've left it the same for so long. They need to improve it so you can resize it. They definitely need to do that. That's, so if I even if I put properties up here, it will... Why why is it defaulted to all the way up here? Why would you do that? Ah, that's just annoying. But presumably if you could just set it to like okay, I'm gonna leave it like that forever now. Um So we're going to go set model front. Now I can I can move all of these objects and reposition them as you would do normally control G to group it as a model now I'm not sure if you could do this before I haven't I hadn't noticed it before but I you might have been able to do it before I'm, I apologize if that's the case so I set this as the model front oops I've dragged it off into the distance I'm not sure what it actually does, but it does do something. Which is, I know, extraordinarily helpful for everyone wondering what it does. Let's see, so I can set this as the model front. And what will that do? If I go to here... So front surface is... Inlet. Ow, they're all stone, I don't want them to be stone. 
material plastic that's much better so I now go back to this one and set front surface inlet hmm where's the front surface front surface where's the inlet so the front surface is at the top so that's not what set model front does evidently set model front Maybe maybe there's something to do with the moving it that will keep it at the front. I'm not sure, and I don't want to experiment now. But you can set the front of a model, whatever that may do. So I'm going to. You can replace glue with welds. Replace welds with snaps. That may be useful in certain situations. This has changed. You can now. This is a thumbnail view. So I'm not sure. Some of this stuff may have been in the previous video. Just hadn't been paying attention to the different features I've just been using the standard but now I actually the cha the settings haven't changed as far as I can tell there may be some few options that I'm not paying attention to because I'm just doing this fairly quickly the faults may have changed for things it still is that they're still gonna keep that on there are they they haven't bothered to they're doing all this fancy stuff but they haven't bothered to just this should probably this should not stay here they should remove this window entirely and say and then have different options that you can change you to change something and then when you click apply then it says do you want to keep the changes they may make roblox unstable and then it definitely shouldn't go automatically some setting changes will not take effect until you start roblox unless they're sure that it will not take effect until you start. They should have different options which have different messages whenever you click apply so you know whether you have to start Roblox or whether it could potentially dis change and make Roblox unstable, was their words. They really should not have this automatic. They're, that's just. La they were, it was lazy when they implemented it first and they just haven't bothered to change it. Windows, same, help, all the same. So I think I've covered everything here. Please tell me if there's something really painstakingly obvious that I've missed. Hopefully this has been useful for people who are not sure what the new Roblox is about. Again, I must say this is in beta, so it's almost definitely going to improve, especially the script editor. I remember they said they definitely want to make the script editor better, and it hasn't improved that much, unless I, again, haven't have missed some option and I need to change, but I doubt it. So... I've never understood. I've had the print option always been there. I've never used it before. What does it do? There was a. Hmm. Never mind. So, thank you for watching this. I hope this is informative, and I'll see you next time.